Good afternoon, everyone. This is Pastor Mike Fred at Mission of Grace. And this afternoon, I'd like to share with you just a few things that were on my heart as we were teaching this morning over there at the House of Destiny. A few things that popped up in my, into my spirit and into my mind as we were teaching. And, and uh, you know, with the coming of Christmas uh, this next week, uh, we are often focused our attention upon, you know, the getting of gifts and everything else. But, uh, you know, God gave us a gift, and we obviously understand this by realizing that that's why we celebrate Christmas. But uh, why did God give us this gift? You know, there's one thing that um, really stands out, and it's found in, um, I believe it was in, Psalms chapter 42, no, Isaiah 42, Isaiah 42, let me grab a hold of it here real quick, I think it's really beneficial that you can find this for this coming year, the Lord declares in, in Isaiah 52, he says, I the Lord have called you in righteousness and will hold your hand, I will keep you and give you as a covenant to the people as a light to the Gentiles, to open up blind eyes, and to bring out prisoners from their prison, for those who are in darkness from their prison house. Okay? Now, Jesus often refers to this also in Isaiah 61, where he is declared that he is, you know, the one who was chosen by God to, uh, you know, to be that light, to be... Um, overcoming darkness and to set people free to open up the eyes of the blind and so on and so forth and obviously that's one thing that Christ has done and is doing still today and uh, <clears throat> we see that as being a gift from God because before then we obviously had a hard time seeing and before then we could not be released from our sin but the one thing that kind of struck me uh, uh, this morning was this fact that he had sent Christ as a gift or uh, as a uh, let me find it here again as a covenant to his people okay now the word covenant means an agreement between two people okay and there's a reason why the two people come into an agreement to set a, a union for a certain purpose okay now, God made a covenant with us through Jesus Christ so that we can be unified, so that we could be his people and he could be our God. Okay? The one thing that God really wants from us is to be unified with him. Okay? And something kind of struck at my chord here this morning. You know, God has everything. He, you know, we don't, we can't really give him anything, you know, when it comes down to material possessions, because let's face it, God has everything. You know, God is God. He doesn't need anything. You know, I can't give him a present. You know, you can give me a present and I can give you a present and, and you might, you know, need it or not, but the focus is with God, there's nothing I can give him, you know, outside of the fact that he may want something from me. And, you know, God sent his son to me as a covenant. So what in return does he require or want back from me? The covenant exists so that we can have life and have life more abundantly. And again, he brings us into a place to where we now become his people and we now become or he now becomes our God. Now, the one thing I want to bring forth is this. God has everything but one thing. God cannot have your heart. He cannot make you love him. And look at the gifts that he gives us. Look at the things that he gives us. And we often tell him, you know, that he is such a good God. He is so marvelous. And he blesses us with all kinds of material blessings, spiritual blessings. And yet the one thing that he requires is that he can have our heart. You know, he gives us things so that we would love him. 
he, he blesses us with things so that we would love him. And more times than not, I see us as a people receiving all these things and not giving God the one thing that he wants back. And that's your heart. Guys, I'm telling you the truth. Let this year be a different year, okay? Let us not be so invoked about giving each other presents. Let's give each other, you know, an understanding that God wants our hearts. You know, that's the reason why he sent Jesus, so that we could be redeemed and brought back to him, so that our heart can now be in his hands. Amen? Guys, it's a tremendous thing to be blessed by God. But it's even more of a blessing if I can bless God with my whole heart. Okay? Something to think about. I bless you guys and uh, uh, get back with me. Okay? And let me know how this teaching has helped you guys out. Be blessed. Bye-bye.